custom gaming computers are designed to sit on top of your desk, but some of them can be unreasonably huge. Although you can certainly build a small form factor PC nowadays, it could be really challenging to keep it under budget. And not to mention, a lot of the small form factor PC nowadays still pretty bulky and heavy, which makes traveling with them a little inconvenient and difficult. Well, I might have a solution for you. This is the mini PC from Geekom, and I am absolutely loving the heck out of it. Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to Archive Origins. My name is Ben. This is the Geekom XT12 Pro Mini PC. Geekom is a company that is specialized in manufacturing mini and compact PCs since 2003. If you're unsure what a mini PC is, it's kind of like a portable computer that you can carry around with you. And when I say mini PC, we're talking about the actual mini mini PC. Way smaller than a small phone factor custom PC that you could ever build. So how small exactly is this mini PC? The XT12 Pro has an 11.1 cm width, 11.7 length, and a 3.85 height. Here is a quick size comparison next to my personal rig, and here is another quick comparison next to a ROG Strix RTX 4090 graphics card. Not only is this PC super compact, but it is also extremely powerful and is packed with tons of features. The XT12 Pro is powered by an Intel i9 12900H processor featuring 14 CPU cores which include 6P cores and 8E cores for a total of 20 threads and a 24 megabytes of L3 cache. It also has a TDP of 35 watt, but we'll get into that in a little bit in the benchmark and testing section. For graphics, it is powered by an Intel Iris XE graphics which I will also show some benchmarking result with you guys later on in the video. 32 gigabytes of DDR4 at 3200 megahertz and one terabyte of M.2 2280 Gen 4 SSD. It also has built-in Bluetooth 5.2, Intel Wi-Fi 6E, and Windows 11 Pro as an operating system. The XT12 Pro is priced at $699, which might be a little steep for some people, but keep watching till the end if you want to find out if this is the right choice for you. Geekom claims that the XT12 Pro can be upgraded in memory and storage. To remove the honeycomb heatsink, simply unscrew the four bottom screws located at the bottom of the mini PC. Then you should be able to see the inside components of this thing. The default RAM is 32GB of Sodim DDR4 at 3200MHz, but it can be supported up to 64GB and the default storage is 1TB of Gen 4 SSD, but it can also be supported for up to 2TB of 2242 SATA SSD. Wait. Did I just say 2242? 2242 is basically a shorter version of the basic 2280 M.2 SSD that you usually see on the market. Keep in mind you cannot use the regular DDR4 RAM that you normally use for your PC. You have to use the Sodium DDR4 RAM just like the one that is made for upgrading a laptop. And it's the same thing with the M.2 SSD. Alright, now it's time to show you guys some benchmarking results I got in Cinebench. Since the main character here is the Intel i9-12900H, we have to put it under load to see how it will perform. The i9-12900H scores 97 points in single core performance and 627 points in multi-core performance. When idle, the whole setup including the portable monitor draws an average of 32 watt, and while under load, it draws around 73 watts. And here's a comparison of the fan noise during idle and under load. In Fortnite, we are averaging around 55 FPS in 1080p low settings. The CPU seems to be running a little hotter in the mid 80s to 90s, but it doesn't seem like it's throttling even after 30 minutes of gaming session. Applying the 1080p low setting in Overwatch also, we are getting about 5 to 10 FPS lower compared to Fortnite. However, the CPU temp seems to be staying below the 90s for most of the time with occasional spikes to around 91 to 92 degrees Celsius. Now, I know most of you guys will probably use this mini computer as like a permanent kind of solution for your office setup, but for me, that's not really the case. Personally, I will use this mini PC under a very special circumstance, traveling. You see, I've been trying to build a SFX portable lunchbox style custom gaming PC and carry it around with me. A couple of months back, we built a high remote 3 portable system for productivity like video editing and also some light gaming. Even though it was great to have a PC with a dedicated GPU in it, but come on, I'm not actually gaming on that thing. I'm just saying it. I mainly use it for video editing on the go, which makes the X-T12 Pro the perfect fit 
for this scenario it is compact and lightweight with only 550 grams and i can pretty much just carry it anywhere with me oh by the way the portable flip monitor i'm using here is the flip ghost portable monitor by jsoc it's jsoc not jsaw according to them. This monitor is perfect for building my portable productivity setup and the dual stack screens are absolutely insane as they allow me to maximize my editing workflow wherever I go. All it needs is one simple USB-C cable that is already provided by JSOX. Simply plug that into the XT12 Pro USB 4 ports and it will act as a power delivery and display cable. Oh, before I forget, let's go through some of the ports on the XT12 Pro. On the back of the PC, you find two USB 4 ports that I use for display and power delivery, two HDMI ports, one 2.5 gigabit ethernet port, one DC jack, one USB 3.2 gen 2 ports, and a slow USB 2.0 port. And for the front, we have two more USB 3.2 gen 2 ports, one 3.5 millimeters headphone jack, and the power button. All of these cool tags can fit into my backpack with plenty of room left for other peripherals such as mouse and keyboard and other accessories. So me and Jenny will be attending the upcoming 2024 Computex in Taiwan and without a single doubt, this will be the perfect solution for a video editing setup. All right, now that being said, would I recommend something like this for simply gaming? No, absolutely not. But what if you only want to get it for video editing or CPU intensive stuff and maybe they do a little bit of casual gaming? Then I would say absolutely yes, go for it. It's uh, really good for productivity and maybe some light casual gaming, but overall you wouldn't want to get it just for gaming purposes. All right, that's pretty much everything. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. He needs, he needs just a little bit more personality and a name. We should give him a name. What should we name him? Geeko? Ami? Geeky? Archie? Archie? Archetype? Archetype? Typey is not cute. Archie. Archie? Look. He rolled his eyes at you. <laughs> Bombastic side eye! <laughs>